Yeah, I think like macam Ikea, maybe like they already cooked it for a while and like you just leave it there so it's not really so fresh and macam it's the lampau dry. So you like juicy lah. Yeah, like juicy and then like obviously if you, if you go to Ikea, the sauce will not be as creamy as this and then macam it will not be as generous as this. So do you like it or not? Yeah, it's so good. It's mm. better than Ikea too? Is it? <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Sorry about the noise, I'm actually outside. So anyway, not long ago, while I was scrolling through the sea of internet, um, I found that IKEA just released their uh, meatballs recipe, which is awesome because I think most Malaysians, if not all, Balls, right? And I thought of giving it a try and see if it tastes the same like Ikea. original recipe they actually use pork um, to mix with the beef mince because pork meat is fatty so therefore it helps the ball to be juicy there are a lot of Malaysian who doesn't eat pork you can replace it with chicken, veal or turkey I replace it with chicken because I think that's the cheapest option I can get um, or you can just use beef mince as it is your balls will be fine. It will still be round. And if you don't eat beef, you can replace it with veal and turkey. You just need to find the part where it's much more fatty. For vegetarian, I don't have any answer for you because this is a meat balls recipe. So in the original, they actually put it in the oven. This is me just using toaster oven.
part is always when you get to serve it and try it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Does it really taste like how I feel? What? Actually, I cannot remember how IKEA tastes like because I haven't had IKEA Korean meatballs for quite a while. I really like the cream sauce and rasa lah meatball dia. Hmm. And you guys should try. Um, senang lah, but susah lah actually. Mungkin macam leci sikit if you're not into cooking but other than that, it's so easy to do.